Corey Sperry. I play tight end for the National Football League, and this is Pro Tips for you. Today, we're going to go over pass blocking, which is very important, not only for you to make sure you're doing your job, but also to protect the quarterback, because he's the one on the team that runs everything. He's usually your leader, so he's the one you got to protect, and pass blocking is one of your main things. First thing with pass blocking is it you've you got to make your stance look just like your running stance. It has to be balanced, everything has to be set up aligned, but you have to have the ball, the foot, the weight on the ball of your foot, so that way, instead of going forward like you would on a route or on runs, you're able to push back. You're able to push because they have a sprinter stance, which is going to be a lot faster than your back pedal. So what you want to do is you want to be able to, you have to know the count, you also have to see where the defender is. So as soon as the ball snapped, you have to be able to push. What you want to do is you want to push at the same time, get this to drop back, your outside leg for the defender. And what you want to do is you want to, as soon as you take this step, your shoulders have to snap back. You have to get up and be able to see where he's at as soon as possible. Then the next is you want to have your hands in. You don't want to hand your hands low as he's coming towards you. You know, that's terrible. He's going to hit you, knock you into the quarterback. He's going to hit you, throw you down. So as soon as you take the step, snap up, hands come here. And your job is to stop him. So as he comes into you,